Welcome to a daily GeoSense challenge. We're already here, <laughs> and you're over there. <laughs> now, today, what are we doing today? Which object is it? What object is it? You heard the man. Why? You'll That's see. the best thing that we could come up with, really. <laughs> so, let's take the opportunity right now to show you the walk-in from the trail and the two objects. All right, we came this way from parking. When you make your way to ground zero, you see a path here and you see a path here. Walk in. This one's a little harder out of the ones that we have done so far in this trail. You come over, whoops, don't trip on the sticks. You come down, you come out through the wash here, and then you see ground zero. Now, do you walk over here? Do you look in the hole in this stump for the container? Or do you look under this rock? for the container. That's today's challenge. Now, ground zero. You've seen the two objects. We have a log. We have a rock. Good thing we didn't struggle because, again, for this episode, no we money. don't have a muggle. Stock is paid. Tomorrow's episode, we will see all three of us because <laughs> we're about to go back to parking and meet up. And move a car to the other side, uh, to the other end of the trail. So when we walk about two and a half miles to get 14 geocaches, there's a car at the other end waiting for us. Now, back to what we're doing right this minute. Is this object that the container is in? Because yes, the container is in one of these two. So, is the container inside that log with a nice big hole and it's hollow? Or is the container in the rock? Now, one thing we forgot to tell you, but you should have taken notice in the corner. I shouldn't have to point it out every time. <laughs> this is a traditional, large, three difficulty, two and a half terrain. You should know that already. The information is always up in the left-hand corner. Unless somebody's head's over there, then I put it in the right-hand corner. <laughs> but usually I leave the room, and it's up in the left-hand corner. So now, with all the information, and I know you did it already, but I'm going to tell you to do it anyway. Leave a comment down below on what object you thought it was. Love reading the comments, man. They're great. I know I fall behind sometimes on replying, but at least I'm caught up. So far, <laughs> at least, at least I'm not responding to messages or comments from a year ago, like I just got done doing. All right, well, without wasting any more time, guess where it is? Eh, I can't hear anybody. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Ready for your surprise? Or did you already know? Grab yourself a rock. Flip it over. Did you see that coming? Now, I guess if you want to call the camouflage a large, I'll agree with that. The container itself, I wouldn't say it would be a large. The container is more of a small, but the camo is a large. So I'm not going to knock this one as bad as I did the non-ammo can <laughs> yesterday. Take the lid off. Confidential field notes, logbook, very neat. And then we have some geocache and swag. Like he said, he thinks there used to be bottle caps. Kind of looks like it. Turned into geocache and swag. 
Doesn't help when you drop them, does it? Good thing there's another bag. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See? They're neat. Oh, you know what? Yeah, they could be bottle caps. So Some they find they... out somehow. This one has a magnet on it to stick it somewhere. Yeah. Very neat. Peace, love, and geocache. I wonder. We also have caching since 2014. PH 7.0. That's a local geocacher. And it looks like we also have two little butterflies. All right. Time to close this up. Time to put it back. And time to go get a muggle. <laughs> Tasty struggle. Yes. I have a feeling 14 more today. We might struggle on one of them. And when we start to struggle, we back off and deploy the muggle. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see an airmail. Now you know what I mean by deploying the muggle. <laughs> I'm not fond of climbing. I fall out of trees. <laughs> yeah. He has a tendency of falling out of trees when I'm with. <laughs> Maybe not when he's alone, but when I'm with, yes. And the muggle loves tree climbing, always had. And we were nice to him. We gave him a ladder. <laughs> when we were kids, you should have seen the trees that he climbed all the way to the top without a ladder. And I would just look at him and go, you got a death wish. You're nuts. <laughs> All right, folks. Like I said, we're going to wrap up today. I'm going back to get the muggle. PA Fireman 3 is going to head down and get two caches on this section of trail that I already did on a previous couple of episodes. And then we're all going to meet back up again in the parking lot and go for 14 more yet today. All spread out over the next couple of days. What are we going to do? We don't know. Do we film them all? Who knows? Do we add more than one every now? We don't know. We're Keep just going to go with what moves us, man. You never know how we're going to feel when we get to a cache. We might go, oh, okay, well, this one ain't good, so let's do a second one. We don't know. As I said once before, my filming is all made up once I get here and I see what I have to work with. Because trying to trying to pre-plan an episode, it's impossible. It's kind of hard when you don't know what you're going to find. I mean, look at the look at yesterday. I'm like, oh, an ammo can. We can. It's a bag. And then once we found a bag instead of an ammo can, I'm like, I don't want to film it. But I did. Why? Because we did another cool one right before it. So make the episode just a little bit better. All right, folks. Enough rambling. Time to move on. Happy trails, happy caching, and go out and get a smile.